So we can always find dividing factors, male, female, old, young, rich, poor. But I believe it's the evolutionary art of storytelling that has allowed us to transcend these ideas with, with universal messages of understanding, knowledge, love, wisdom. And by focusing on these universal stories and adding a bit of social commentary, Broadway, with high production quality and level of performance, has not only transcended this idea, but taken it to even greater heights, dividing, making this dividing gap a little bit smaller. For example, by discussing the AIDS epidemic in Rent, or the horrific sweatshop conditions in the musical Rags, or the love movement in the 1960s with the musical Hair. And in doing so, Broadway has essentially become an activist of its own, been a voice for the voiceless in its own right. That is for anyone who can afford the ticket price. <laughs> but not everyone gets to see a Broadway show. Not everyone can afford it. And those that can afford it, sometimes they only leave with a sense of entertainment. Oh, this was so entertaining. Oh, this was so much fun, that song. Oh, he had, I don't remember what it was, but it had such emotion in the song. That's Carmine's? Anyone? Carmine's. You know, it's, it, and, and when that happens, it, that, that voice, that voice gets hushed. That, that, that divide, that gap that we were working so hard to bridge, it, I feel like it's maintained. So that is why I encourage the Broadway community to not only be a voice for the voiceless on stage, but to be a voice for the voiceless off stage and as often as possible. And not when it's convenient or popular like the It Gets Better campaign or the ALS bucket challenge. You know, like, like in the 80s when the AIDS epidemic was going crazy and Broadway Cares and Equity Fights AIDS were two separate organizations and then they merged together in 1992 and since then they've raised $250 million. Because when we do that, when we, when we actually go into the community because we're a large community. The Broadway community is a large community. We're a world community. So any effort that we jump on is, is, is going to benefit us in the long run. There's no telling how many broad, future Broadway stars, their lights are being diminished because they don't have health care, or they don't feel empowered, or they don't have financial aid. Because you have to invest to get a return. So we might as well invest so that we can get our return. Because again, not everyone can afford to come to Broadway, but Broadway can surely afford to come to everyone else. One, two, three, four. Who we are, who we are, who we are tired, but not gone. What we know, we go on and on and on until we show we are white noise. Oh, we're colored bars. Oh, we are the Maybe, maybe choice, choice words, words a little, 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 little scrutiny, scrutiny, but, but without, without unity, unity, you and, you and me ruin, ruin, ruin these communities, communities assuming that, that our role in this is duty free. The, the same goes, goes, goes to take village, village to raise a child, but without, without, without a village, 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 fathers they need guidance for starters before they become martyrs they're just searching for an opportunity to be heard so these words are for the parents and the guardians and those that know once someone's given up on life it's hard to start again because if we lose them we're the losers it's in the present moment they need to know we're rooting for their future we are yeah. who we are we are tired but not gone 
when I think on it, I get misty-eyed. Because some people want to maintain this divide. Look, just because you came from the bottom doesn't mean that you're a bottom feeder or without a need to kiss the sky. So kiss the sky, even if the mission's I-M-P-O-S-S-I-B-L-E. This is why. It's your right to find your purpose. It's your job to be great. It's your destiny to mystify. So this is for the rest of who are lost and feeling destitute. It's hard to feel full when you believe you're just a crescent moon. Hard standing tall when there's a giant next to you. So keep shining so they can see the best in you. Keep pressing through. Take with you the lessons you learn along the way. Crawl, walk, run, fly. You'll be jetting soon. It's imminent. As long as you do your due diligence until there's nothing left to do. Who we are, we're tired. We are tired, but not gone. But not gone. And we know yeah. what we know. We go on and on and on until we show. Now I can only hope that these opuses can remedy your hopelessness or any vices that you might be coping with. I know this ain't the dopest, but if you can't speak, deem me your vocalist. My humble sentiments evoke the pen strokes that I wrote this with. I'm trying to start a fire to inspire you to close your fists and raise them to the sky like a firework exploding with the power of passion. Willing to take action, imagine who else's life your silence is impacting. Because when we practice what we preach, then we can actively defeat the things that keep our dreams out of reach. So I beseech, be prouder. Listen to your heart when it beats louder. Stay hungry because this world is yours to be devoured. I send you love, light, and strength when in your weakest hour. Be empowered to redefine the things that bring you peace of mind. It'll be worth the work. Surely you'll see in time. Now put that hand of yours into mine. We are who we are. We are tired, but not gone, and we know, now you know, what we know, now you know what we know, we go on and yeah. on and we'll on go on and on and show. on and on and on and we on, are noise. we are white noise, oh. we are colored bars, we are colored bars, Are the whispers. We are the whispers. Oh, yeah. we are the voices. We are the voices. We are the voices. We speak oh, for the voiceless. We must voiceless. scream for the voiceless. Shout for the voiceless. Rejoice for the voiceless. We, we are, the are the voiceless. Be a voice for the voiceless. Thank you.